ניתן כוח לבחירת מלכות בקדושה ולהתגבר על מלכות בסתרה אחרא. And each one of us needs, has to, must give power to the aspect of מלכוס דה קדושה, the holy kingdom ship, להתגבר, to get over מלכות דסית ראחה, the kingdomship of the bad side. וכמו שאמרו רבותינו זיכרונם לברכה, and like our sages said, לעולם ירגיז אדם יצר טוב על יצר הרע. always you have to uh, make the good side fight the bad side. That's more or less the translation. And by what do you give power to the Malchus de Kedusha, to the Holy Kingdomship? Al Yedea Torah, Shu Osek Bekoach, by learning Torah with power. And learning Torah with power it's whatever, you know, like uh, if you are tired after a day of work or a day of learning and you, you, you keep on learning or, or, or if uh, you don't understand and you, you, you force yourself to, uh, to try and understand more, what, whatever is, power is like forcing myself to do what is hard for me to do. And here in the, in the commas he gives uh, all the all the all the say what the, the sages said lolam yargiz adam yetzer tov al yetzer forever you have to uh, make the the yetzer tov the good side fight with the bad side if he goes if the bad side leaves you good and if he doesn't go You have to uh, go and learn Torah. If he goes, good. If he doesn't go, so you have to think of the last day of your life. <laughs> yeah? And there's another saying that our sages said, if this uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, in, uh, but it's not in a good way. This, uh, dirty, bad boy, you know, hit you, pull him to the Beta Midrash. Take him into the place where you learn Torah. Because by learning Torah, you give power to the... Yeah. And then the Malchus, that is the aspect of the letter Nun, she gets uh, life from the Chochma, that she is the aspect of the letter Chet. And the Chet and Nun comes together. And what does it say, Chet and Nun together? It's Chen. Chen. Like we started in the beginning. Now the light of the moon becomes like the light of the sun. And when the, the Kedusha rise, the bad side falls down. You don't have to fight the bad side, you have to raise the Kedusha. Okay. And then you destroy the Malchus The bad Malchus. Okay, up to here. It's more or less uh, enough. But he, started, he starts with Tzarich Kol Echad. 
everyone must give power to the Malchus of Dusha. What does it mean, must? It's, it's like, it's like telling me, you have to do like this. How did you get here? So, if we come back and we start looking on this uh, Torah, so we start that Rabbi Nachman tells us uh, uh, knowledge, give, give us knowledge. You have to know that by the Torah, all your prayers are being accepted. Okay, so I know it's a, it's a big, important knowledge, and I have to put it into my heart and live with it. But it's a knowledge. And then it tells me later, you know, that uh, the, the Chen and the Chashibut of Israel fell down. The importance and the grace of Israel fell down. And now the, great, the important, uh, importance and grace is by the going. Okay, so in the, begin in the beginning you tell me, you, 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 you give me some knowledge. And then you tell me this knowledge has to do with uh, Israel and the rest of the, of the world. And then we're going <coughs> to the private uh, man. Yeah? <coughs> so Israeli because the, the, the Jewish man, the Israeli man, has to look in the, in the Sechel, in the, in the Chochmah that there is in, in the world. So, you put me, the private man, and you put me in the Bria, in the world. Yeah? So, we have the knowledge, we have Israel, compar in comparison to the, to the rest of the world. We have the private man in the world, yeah? in the nature, mm -hmm. and then you tell me that uh, Yaakov, which is my first Israeli root, yeah, Yaakov had the power of the Chochmah, had the power, had the power to look at the Chochmah, at the Sechel, that is in everything. And you, you, you take a, a, a pasuk that says, you know, Orch Tzadikim Ke Or Noga, Olech Ba'or Ad Nechon Hayom. The light of the of the righteous man, yeah, is like the rise of the sun. Yeah? That in the beginning it's very low and then it goes stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. No. No. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's how it goes. Okay. Yeah. And Okay, so what, what, what did I get up to here? I get up to here, you know, I, that I see, you know, that there's a private work that someone has to do it. And uh, there's some anonymous Jewish Israeli guy has to do it. And you have the power to do it because your, your, your father did it, so you have the power to do it uh, also. But because the, the, the light of the Chochmah, of the Sechel, of the intelligence, you know, is so strong, you cannot do it without the power of the Malchus, of the kingdomship. And the kingdomship is the, is, is the Nun, and is the, is the moon, and is the, the, the... Yeah, this, this is the kingdomship. Okay. No, we yeah. didn't get to the Chen. It's the Nun. Okay. Yeah. Only when we put Chochmah and Malchus together, that's yeah. what gives us Chen. Then you tell me about the other side, you know, that someone that doesn't want the Chochmah, the, 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 the bad kingship, you know, and we said uh, the Malchus doesn't have anything of our own. Like, right of the, the opposite way, that people think about kingship. What is a king? The king has all the powers. And the, 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 the real king doesn't have any power of his own. All the power that he has is only what he got from the Chochmah. That's the power that he really has. So it's not my power. It's someone else's power. Yeah? But each kingship has to 
fill herself with what she is missing. So, I, I miss something. And every kingdom ship is missing something. Even, you know, the greatest uh, uh, empires, you know, they miss that something. How do you know that they miss? Because they go and fight against other nations and want to conquer them and take them over. Why? Because they miss something. So what do I miss? Really what I miss, really what I, I don't have is Chochmah. That's what, what really I don't have. The light of the Chochmah. This is what I don't have. Yeah? But if I don't take care, I don't think about it, so I think I miss something from this world. Yeah? Food, money, power, honor, whatever this world has to offer, you know, I, because I miss everything that goes inside my eyes. Oh, I miss this. I need this. I need this. I need. How come do you need? After now you lived in a cave, you had everything, everything is okay, you know, you just went out uh, shopping and you saw, wow, this is exactly what I need. What do you need? This car, you know, this car, I need this car. Why do you need this car? What's wrong with your car that you have for, for 10 uh, years? No, 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 this is bad. I used it for 10 years. Everything is okay with him, you know, he goes to the garage uh, every six months, you know, everything is okay. Why do you need a new one? No, you know, I need to keep my, uh, the value of my money and all kind of uh, calculations that, that is not really, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's not really what I miss. I miss the light of the Chochmah. So, when we come down, when we come down, to the comparison between the good and the bad, the good kingship and the bad kingship. And Rabbi Nachman puts it into the, the words of the aspect of Yetzer Tov and Yetzer Ra. Then we come to the private man, which means then I come to my job. Up to now, it was a very nice learning. We learned nice things, we had nice shearing, and now Rabbi Nachman wants me to start working. And uh, the problem is, you know, that Rabbi Nachman is the, the best teacher and the best rabbi there is, and he is full of mercy and full of good, and what we know about him is to find, always to find the good points and always to, to hold yourself up and cheerful. But, really, if we start going into Rabbi Nachman's teaching and learning, so we understand that he is the toughest, toughest boss there is. He wants everything. He wants each one of his people to go the highest that they can. Okay, so now we come to this part that we learned today. When Rabbi Nachman said, Salih, you must do this work. Why do I have to do this work? First of all, what is the work? Is Le'aragiz. What is Le'aragiz? Is to, um, to, like when you make someone else's someone else mad, yeah. When you no insight, insight. That's what the kids do to you. Aggravate. Aggravate. Yeah. Aggravate. What, what does it mean? Aggravate. When I aggravate someone, you know, he gets Agitate. uptight. Agitate. He gets uptight. You know, who is there? You know, what's going on? You know, I, I'm I'm ready to fight. Yeah. Like, like you're picking on me, uh, again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. This is what you have to do. Against what? Against the Yetzirah, against the bad kingdom. Why do you have to do it? Because he is, the bad side is awake all the time. Your nature, your body is your nature, yeah. is awake all the time. He means all the time. 
He has, he has to, to, to eat, he has to drink, he has to get a shower, he, he, he needs, he has to sleep, he, need, he needs all the time. And these needs, you know, are in front of our eyes, in front of our fingers. So if I want to wake up the, 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 the good kingship, you know, the spiritual, I have to, like, aggravate him all the time, wake up, wake up, you know. Like uh, someone is asleep in the house and there's water, you know, there's a flood going in. You know, he's, he's sleeping. <laughs> wake up, you have to wake up, you have to run, you have to do, you have to work, you have to fight. Get up and do Tikkun Yeah. Tikkun get up and do Tikkun Chatzot, yeah. Get up and, and, and learn, get up and do a, a mitzvah, do a chesed, do something. Yeah, he doesn't say, he, does, he, he doesn't tell me what to do. Just wake up and be aware. <laughs> be aware that you are... It, in the time of fighting, as long as you live here in this world, you are in the war. And as, as long as you are in the war, you have to be aware, you know, when uh, in the beginning we start going to, uh, to Uman, so uh, it was, you know, like Very in the times that uh, the, the, USSR. Yeah, the communists yeah. fell down. Yeah. And it was dangerous to go there. Especially to the to the men that were organizing. So the head of the guys that were organizing then it was uh, of the Moshe Binenstock. So he had two um, head head guards, bodyguards, bodyguards. Yeah, one was like medium height, but one was really tall, and they and, and they were Russians. Yeah, from the Russian army, they were the, from the Russian uh, commando or whatever, whatever, you know, and <laughs> and they, you know, they were going after him wherever he was going. They were going with him, so he went into the mikveh, and the mikveh it wasn't something. It was like you know something very primitive. So the door was very low. So the guy, you know. The Moshe Vinishto goes in, and the guy goes after him, and he didn't bend down enough. So he, he got a bang on him, and, and straight away, you know, he made a movement of, uh, of, uh, of karate or, or whatever, you know, he thought he was being crap attacked. Like, crap like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was being attacked, so he made like this, <laughs> it, was, it was funny, but, 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 but he was alert. Yeah, yeah. He was there, you know. He was there, you know, something happened, stuck, he, right. straight away, he, he made the right movement that he had to do. This is how I have to live all the time. And it's a very hard life. To be alert all the time. Because sometimes you think, you think about it later. You don't do it when you're supposed to. I should have done it, I <laughs> did it this way. Yeah, you know. But really, you know, we have the... We have the because we learned the Torah, so we woke up already the the kingdom of Kedusha. And it's not that we hear voices from sky, but we hear voices from Inside. our heart. Yeah. Do like this, do like this. For example, I give you a today's example. You know, I, I want you to go to, to learn, you know, where where I learn at night. And it's in beta and it's snowing. And there's no buses, but the, our car from from the caller he, he went there. So usually I go by the bus, but I I, I called him. I, I I go with him. My son told me he wants to take my boots. He has the uh, boots that he bought them in uh, Uman. It's good. It's good boots, you know. Leather boots, yeah. Yeah. So I said, ah, no, no, I don't need it. Yeah. And I and I went there. And I needed it, so I I have the I have the voice, you know. Be alert, you know. It's going to snow there, you know. It's going to be cold. Be prepared. You need the boots, you know. So why? why if, listen to it. Look look at it. Be like this uh, Russian uh, bodyguard, you know. He made the right move. Yeah, yes, okay. Why well, you not? Know, no, they they're not nice. They're really not nice, you know. They they they're heavy. They're bulky, you know. They. I don't like them at all, you know. Who sees you? Yeah. You go at night. Yeah. You know, it's only the guys from the column. 
You're not going out to the United States, uh, you know, the president of the United States or whatever, you know. Where are you going? To a, to a restaurant with the... Uh, where are you going? Take these boots. They, they are not nice, really, but they, they, they are good. <laughs> they keep you warm. <laughs> they keep you dry. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we, we get these, these messages all the time. Uh, but we have to be fast, you know, all the time. So that, that's why you have to learn to give, to, 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 to disturb the, 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 the yeter at all, the, the good king, disturb him, don't let him sleep, for, not for even, even for one minute. How do you do it? You do it by learning Torah bekoach. Lilmot Torah bekoach. This is the, the mantra of this... Uh, of this uh, Torah. Learn Torah with power. Take all your powers into Torah. Why? Because when you learn Torah, like, I'm very tired, you know, I, you sit there in the coil, you know, especially now, you know, I don't know how, how it comes, you know, but the young people, they need the, the heater, you know, and for me, the heater, you know, Put makes you sleep. sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I prefer it cold, but if you open the window, everybody gets, you know, you know, oh, it's cold, you know, close it. Okay, so now, 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 instead of being mad on these people, yeah, what I, I should do, wow, I have a chance to learn Torah with power. To put all my powers to stay awake and learn. And if you do it, what do you say? I bend my head in front of Shem. So I am a slave. I am nothing. I'm doing the job. You know, and if you're tired, you don't understand exactly what it means, and it goes like this, and uh, uh, go on. Keep on. You know, this is exactly what you have to do. Now you have to, to move. And if you do it, you know, really, and you do it with the power, you will wake up from it. But this is the exercise, you know, like. This bodyguard, you know, he makes exercise. He didn't come to it like this, you know, in one day. He exercised again and again and practice, again. Practice. And he practiced, he made practice and another. And pra yeah. This is your practice. Yeah. For what? For the time that you, you hear the, the voice comes to you, you jump on it. So, you learn Torah the Koach with power. And then, you wake up the Malchut. You wake up the Malchut. Yeah? Now, what does it mean to wake up the Malchut? To remember, I am nothing. I have nothing of my own. I need the Chochmah. I need the light of the Chochmah. This is what really I need. And the, the light, the, the darkness, is fighting against me. And I have to fight, it, fight against him. What does he want me? He wants me to go to sleep. He wants me to get used to life. Everything is okay. Where do, where, do you go, where do you go shopping? Anywhere. No, I'm not going shopping anywhere. I'm going shopping where I won't see bad pictures. Everywhere I see bad pictures. No, in this shop, yeah, it's a very bad picture. And in this shop, it's, you know, it's not the best, but... But in this shop, it will cost you a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, you double price. Okay. I'm willing to pay. I'm willing to pay. For the light of the Chochmah, I'm willing to pay. You know, people are going to India and paying the gurus to, 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 for what? Yeah? Or even in, the, in America, in Europe, everywhere. You know, they're paying people for, for, for all kinds of things. Okay, I pay a share. I pay him. Why? Because I want the light of the Chochmah. So I don't do every, anything like I want. I do ev everything with, with the thought I have to give power to the kingdom of Kedusha. To the Kedusha. This is what I have to do. And like they say, you know, in Pagah Becha Menuval Zeh, yeah, and now uh, Rabbeinu brings another Another uh, proof, proof to, to his statement that you must 
You must. It's on you. The job is on you. It's not a job on some Israeli Jewish uh, commando guy that is, you don't know who he is. No, it's on you. <laughs> you know? It's on you. In Pagar Becha Menuvalze, and it's, it's very... Uh, in Pagar, what, what, what is Pagar? Pagar is met, like I met yes, someone, somebody. and Pagar is hurt, like someone hurt you. So if you met this Menuval, what is Menuval? Is, is, you know, I don't, I don't know, I, oh, I know, uh, you know, very nice word, oh, it's from the street, you know, but it's, you know, this, this dirty, dirty, uh, dirty man is really, is dirty. And what does it mean dirty? You know, it, he's not a gentleman. You know, like, you know, in the, the, in the, in the old days, they had fights with uh, swords, yeah? So they bow to each other before they start, and they start fighting with the sword, you know. This uh, Rasha is a dirty man, you know. You, do, you, you bow to him, he gives you one over the head. He's a dirty player. Yeah. He doesn't play straight. Right. He's not a gentleman. He will fight you. You turn his back to, uh, your back to him, he will kill you. So if you met him, take him straight to the Torah. Don't wait for a minute, you know, you, you got hurt, now start fighting. But how come? How come can I, can I get hurt? How, how come can I meet him in a surprise? Because one, one minute be, uh, before well, he gave me this, uh, I, I just said, uh, Raya? Uh, proof. Proof. Before you gave me this proof, you had the first proof. Leolan Yagis. All the time you have to wake up the Malchus Kudosh. So I cannot be uh, surprised by anyone. Just you know, no, 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 my friend, you don't know him. You don't know him. You think you're good doing the right thing. You think you're learning good. You think you are a good man. You are asleep. And he is going to catch you. And he is going to, to, to pull you down to the, to, to, to the floor. He's going to make nothing out of you. Pull you to the Beta Midrash. Take you to the Beta Midrash. In Yaakov Avinu it says, when he went uh, out of uh, his father's house, Yitzchak, to Haran to meet his uh, wife, Achel, Leah. On the way, he says, Vayifgabamakom. It's the same word, you know, Vayifgabamakom. He met the place. Okay? And, and the sun went down, it, beca it became dark. So then, they, they changed the, the meaning of the word. It's not I, Yaakov, Yaakov met someone, and not someone hurt him. It says, Vayifga is Lashon Tfilah. Why? Because Yaakov Avinu saw that he came to a place, the place was very dark. What is the, 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 the weapon of Yaakov? Tfila. So the same like this bad kingdom, he hurts you. I hurt him back. What happened? He found out that this place is the place of the Beta Migdash. When you are the, on the lowest level, and you keep on fighting, you will find the highest light, the highest Chochmah. Why? Because as long as you're going straight and you wake up the Malchut or the, uh, of, of Kedusha, yeah, the kingdom of Kedusha, you wake him up, you are alert and you're doing and you're fighting, and suddenly, bam, he came behind your back and gave you one over the head, yeah? You have two options. 
or to say, wow, you know, I'm fighting for so long. I thought I'm a big commando guy, you know. I am from the Marines. I'm the, I'm the best, and you know, look at me. I'm nothing. Call of God. Okay. What 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 does the shame tell you? You are the Marines. You are the best. You're doing a good job. But I don't have any other way to teach you. Only by this way. I'm teaching you now a new uh, new kind of weapon. You know, a new kind of tank, a new kind of uh, a gun. Something new. I'm teaching you something new. Fight. Now is the time to fight. When, 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 we, uh, when is the beginning of losing? When you give up. When you turn your back and run away. Give up, yeah. This is the time. But as long as you're fighting, you're in the, you're in the business. You're in business. You, you will make it. Yeah? It will take this uh, long, that long, whatever. You know, one week, one day, two, uh, two months, uh, two years, whatever. But I'm fighting. I don't leave my... I, I, he's pushing me down all the time, you know? Steady, you know? Another step down, 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 you know, like, you know, learning Gemara. Especially for, like, Americans that starting in, 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 in uh, not, not from, from, uh, birth. from birth, from, from being uh, kids, yeah? Yeah. That's you true. know? So, you have to learn the language, and in the Gemara you have Aramaic also, so it's two languages that you have to learn, you know, and they get mixed up together, these languages. <laughs> and after you, 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 want, you want to understand the, the simple uh, really? explanation of, of, of the words, you know, now they start telling you, no, there's an inside meaning in this, uh, wow, you know, what do you want from me? <laughs> and you want me to finish all these books? <laughs> yeah? I know, it, uh, know that it, feeling. It, 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 I it know looks that like feeling. crazy. Okay, so I'm leaving everything and I, I, I go back home. I learn all kinds of things. I will read all kinds of things. So I think I told you this story. That there was a guy, you know, he was a boxer, an American guy. And his, his son, it was, I think he was 10 years old, he made tuba. And his father was hitting him, a boxer. You know, every time he comes home, he gets one from his father, you know, and his father knows how to, <laughs> how to give. No, but this kid, you know, he, nothing, uh, and he's going, and he's going, he's going. When he was uh, 16, they finished one of the Masechters, and they had a big party. So, uh, so the son asked his father, you know, come, please, come to the party. All the parents are going to come. So his father says to him, you know, I'm coming like this. The way I'm dressed like, like this, I'm coming. He says, okay, fine, just come. So he came, you know, not after, he didn't forget to give him two boxes, you know, <laughs> in, his, in his head or whatever, you know. But he came, he came, and one of the, uh, the rabbis, he was crying there, in, in his lecture he was crying. How can a man live with, without a page of Gemara? How can a man live? Nobody can live without a page of Gemara. And this sentence went into the heart of this uh, man. And he asked his son, teach me, what is a... Uh... So he opened the uh, Masechta Brachas and showed him, this is, the, this is the page. This is the page of Gemara. So he, he said, I, I cannot read it. So he started learning Hebrew. So he learned how to uh, read and write. And then he learned with his son the, the Gemara. And then he learned Rashi and the Tosfat, all on the, on the first page. And then they finished. So he was happy, you know, I finished one. Let's make a party like you made with me when you finished all the book, you know. He said, let's make a party. I finished a page. This is what the Rav said. That, how can you live without a page of Gemara? So the, the kid said, okay, you know, that's what his father wants, you know, he's happy, you know. After all these years, you know, he, he started 
enjoying something of his uh, Judaism, okay, let's do something. So he made a big party. He says he wants to invite uh, of, uh, Moshe Feinstein. You know, he's the biggest rabbi in America. He wants him to come. So the kid didn't know what to do, but he went to uh, Moshe Feinstein. And he told him the story. So Rav Moshe Feinstein came. He said, I'm coming. Tell the father, I'm coming. So he came over and, and the father read the, the page and explained the page and everybody was so happy and uh, Moshe Feinstein gave him a bocha and everything. And this father went to sleep and didn't get up in the morning. <laughs> Like he, he, he made this, this was his sentence, how can you live without a page of Mara? So he, he made this page of Mara and finished his life, finished his life. Mm. And he made the fight, you know, like, like a boxer, he was a boxer, he, he made the fight. He made the fight and learned and he started. And okay, it's like learning the whole Gemara. The whole for him, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. This is what he had to do. That, that's what I have to believe, you know, yeah, there's all these books. I have to learn all these books. <laughs> How can you don't do it? Yeah, because I do what I can do. I don't. I don't leave the the fight. There was a guy, the Rakanti, yeah, one of the biggest uh, Moroccan uh, rabbis. And he learned, you know, until the age of seventy, he sat in the yeshiva in the Beit Hamidrash, and he, he didn't understand anything. He read everything. He read all the. the he read it. But he could only read it. Nothing got into his head. When he was 70, he was sleeping in the... He put his head down, he was tired, he put his head, head down on the table. And he had a dream that he saw a... Like a, a very uh, important and uh, rav. And this rav gave him uh, some water to drink. And when he woke up, he understood everything what he learned in this in all his life, and in two years he wrote seventy books. You know, in pshat, in drash, in in in, in sod, in everything. What was in that water? <laughs> Give me that. I don't care what it is. Just let me drink from it. Out of it, you know. That's what I want. I don't want anything else, you know. But but what in in these years, you know, he sat and read. And he read it, and he forgot, and he read it, and he forgot, and he read it, and he didn't understand, but he gave a fight. He learned Torah Bekorach. He learned Torah with all his powers. Okay, so I, I don't understand, so I don't, I don't remember, so what? You know, now I, 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 I'm, I'm making this sure, you know, I'm writing, I, write, I wrote six pages, you know. Okay. It was today, today and yesterday. Well, it doesn't go into my head to say it, you know, and I enjoy it and I like it. But when I come to give the shield, I, I cannot say everything. So, I stop. No, I, I'm giving my fight. You know, what Hashem wants to happen, this is what will happen. But I have to give my fight. And in the end, you know, in the end, for sure, what, what, what happens, I, I connect the chet, the, the chet and the noon, I, because I put myself down and I accepted what Hashem gives me. <laughs> Anyone that comes to learn, you know, he wants to understand everything in five minutes and remember it for all his life and be able to do it in the same day. That's what we want when we come to learn. We want to be Moshe Rabbeinu today. Yeah, we want to be Moshe Rabbeinu today in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, right? And keep eating and drinking just right. the same. <laughs> yeah. But, but we accept, you know, we accept when, when a day later, when we come to learn, the day after, yeah, and we don't remember what we learned yesterday, but we come and learn, this is Torah Bekorah. Because I accept what Hashem gave me. And He gave me the power to forget, not the power to remember. Okay, I accept. Okay. 
They come again, and another day, and another day, and another day, and then you hear people say, wow, you know so many things. I know so many things. You know, yes, but I hear myself, I, I, I hear myself speak, you know, and I'm saying all kinds of things that, you know, I learned them some, somewhere, and I remember them, and they go together, and, but I know that so much I don't remember. So, I accept, I take it, you know, it's okay. Thank you, thank you for what I remember, thank you for what I learned, thank you for what I was only awake in front of the book, you know, so many times you, I, 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 I read, you know, and I, I, I turn the, the page and I say, oh, 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 just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, what did you read? <laughs> I'll come back again. And sometimes I don't have the power to, come, to go back again. I go on. Okay, I read it. Thank you very much. Go on. That's how, that's how you do it. But this dirty fighter, you know, tells him, no, you are worthless, nothing is good. No. Now, on this time, on this hard time, when I bend myself down, I became the Malchus of Gdusha. Because I bend myself in front of Hashem. So then the Chet, the Chochmah, comes close to me. And then it becomes Chen. And when it becomes Chen, when the, 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 the moon is attached to the sun, and it has the power of the light of the sun, there's no more darkness. It's not that I have to fight the darkness, there's no more darkness. It's gone. It's gone. You know, here I am. You know, Hashem is with me. Everything is okay. I'm happy. Why are you happy? Well, you became uh, Moshe Rabbeinu? No. You became uh, rich. You won the, uh, the first prize of the lottery? No. So why are you happy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, but I'm happy. So I tell you why you're happy. Because you, you made the fight. That's all. You, are, you made the fight. Hashem is with you, and that, that's what makes you happy. And then you gave. What happened when you gave the Malchut uh, the, of Dusha? You gave it power. What happened? You changed the world. You changed all the world. All the world is different now. I cannot see it. Okay, you cannot see it. But in the how do you call it? The scales yeah. of Hashem. The scales of God, you know, He can see it. And He can appreciate it. And after 120, when you come up there, and you look at it, He says, wow, I didn't do these things. So, yes, yes, you did it. So, no, I'm, I, I'm not a big rabbi. I'm not a Tamil Chucham. I'm not a Tzadik. How can you say I did such big things? So you gave a fight. What do you mean I gave a fight? I sat in front of the, 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 the book like a, like a dummy. <laughs> yes, that's what you did. But you gave a fight. And when you gave a fight, you gave the power to the tzaddikim to give a fight, and you gave the power to the ones that below you to give a fight. And you changed the... the the atmosphere of the world, you know, another small light, and another small light, and another small light, and another small light, and everything is attached to the big chokhmah, to big light of chokhmah. He lights in the world. Yeah? But what, what we give the, 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 the other side of the malchus, the darkness, you know, we give it enough power that no one can see it. Because if everyone could see that the one that is given a fight for the Kedusha is going all the time with his uh, big smile on his face so there's no Bechira so you have to fall you have to fall and you have to get up and you have to fall and you have to get up and you have to fall and you have to get up again and again and again and again okay I want to finish it I want to finish it <laughs> this paragraph so let's learn just a little bit more. So we say that the the, the of the of the of the 
רשע is falling down, like he says, כי ישרים דרכי השם וצדיקים ילכו בם ופושעים ייכשלו בם. On the same way that we go as a צדיקים, the bad goes and falls down. Why? Because they say, it's not the way. If uh, Hashem is a king of mercy, He should give his slaves everything, which is a logical thought in this world, you know. If, I, if there's a king and I am his best warrior, not best, okay, the 1,000, but he has thousands of, of soldiers. You have to give me something to eat, something to drink, and if I'm giving him a good fight, you know, okay, show it to me. But you appreciate my work. This is a logical uh, thought, right? <laughs> But not every logical thought that we think is the right uh, thought, because it's not, it's not only a matter of logical or not logical. Yeah? It's a matter of what is right and what is wrong, and what is right for you and what is wrong for you. And like we said in uh, this uh, story of the, of the boxer, you know, he was a boxer, he was a fighter all his life. And then for how long it, it, took, it took him, if I remember the story, it took him a year to, to, to get done with this. Uh, so all his life he, he, he didn't behave like he should do. One year he gave a big fight and he finished his job. So you can look at it, wow, it's, 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 it's a shame, you know, because he just started. He could go on and, and you know, he could be, he, he could finish all the, all the book. Why only one, one page? But who knows the right idea? Hashem knows. That was exactly what he had to do in this life. And this guy, this, this rabbi, I can't be, 70 years. He started learning when he was a kid. 70 years he has to learn for it. And, and, and have all, all this aggravation and all, all this uh, tsar, you know? Why? It's not right. And then in two years to write 70 books, it's also crazy. It's not logical. How can a man write 70 books in two years? Okay. It's not logical for you. This is nature. Logical is by nature. So by nature, it's not logical for us. But above the nature, anything's possible. So everything is possible and every, everything is logical. When you come up and you see from, from high, like, like a kid, when you, you try telling a kid, you know, it's good for you to sit in the classroom. It's good for you to, to sit. To do your homework. So he said, to do your homework, you know. So he looks at you and then, wow. Daddy, you know, it's so hard for me. I'm going to die for me. I hate <laughs> it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, you know, I understand you hate it. But it's good for you. But I cannot do it. If I hate it, I cannot do it. You're right. If you hate it, it's very hard. But you don't have to love what you learn. You have to love the work. You have to, 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 to love the, 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 the war. The, the, the fight, give a fight. You know, like all this, you, we speak about boxers, you know. They love the fight. They enjoy to fight. They enjoy to, to get in the competition, you know. But fight, we fight, we fight. I, I also, I, I'm a fighter. I have to enjoy the fight. It doesn't matter. Okay, so he win. Yeah, he win ten times and I win only one time. Okay, good. As long as I'm fighting. Because as long as I'm fighting, I, I have a promise that I am the winner. That's what I have the, the promise. So I'm going straight. And they look at me and they say, wow, you're crazy. It's not logical. So I say, you're right, it's not logical. But once you start enjoying the fight, you don't care about what is logical and what is not logical. Because you feel happy, you know, this feeling once every... Every other time that you have the feeling of, wow, I'm doing the right thing, you know? That's enough. For me, this is the, wow, it's the highest salary that you can get.
You know, I want the cars and I want the money and I want the honor and I want everything because I'm not a tzaddik. But when you have the taste, the good taste of, of, of enjoying the Torah, enjoying the fight, wow. Oh Hashem, oh Hashem, thank you Hashem, thank you for everything. Thank you for the Yisurim, thank you for the, for, for, for everything. For the good, for the bad, for, for what I think is bad, for what I know is bad, for what I'm sure is bad. Thank you. That's what I, what I say. Why? Because I tasted the good, time, the good uh, taste of Torah. And the good taste of Torah is the good taste of Hashem. Yes. Yes. Hainu. Al yedei berkei Hashem hainu Torah. We carry on a little bit by the ways of the Shem, meaning by the Torah. By this, by working, by fighting to learn a little bit Torah, the Tzadikim that are connected to the Malchus of Kedusha, they get stronger and they get power by this. Like we're saying now. We are getting power, you know, where when we learn, we get power. Especially when we manage to understand something, to, to, to put something in our heart. Okay. We put something in our heart, we understood something, we, 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 we accepted something, we uh, managed to work with something, we managed to make a, a prayer out of uh, Torah, we, we managed to do something. In the same way, in the same way, going and trying to learn the Torah, the ones that want to uh, be attached to the Malchut, to the bad Malchus, they fall down by it. Okay, well, okay. And the private Yetzirah, okay. what I have inside my heart, you know, this bad guy that is me in inside of my heart is getting weaker and is getting weaker every day weaker and weaker and weaker by what by the same Torah that makes the good have power it makes the bad lose his power and he falls and he surrender and uh, all the uh, all the uh, stories how they end and they live happily ever after, <laughs> right? Because the yetzer I mean, that is connected to the nature. I have it all the time. As long as I live here in this world, I have my body, and my body is connected to the kingdom of bad. But if I raise the kingdom of good over the kingdom, kingdom of bad, so the kingdom of bad become a servant of the good. And then I have both of them working for the same purpose. Be'ezat Hashem. Amen ba'amen. Thank you very much.